You having a hard time keeping the bar from drifting away when you deadlift? Today let's talk about the lats, their role in this exercise, and how to use them more effectively. We love the deadlift. Now our priority here when someone's learning how to pull on day one is to make sure they can set their back in correct position to start the pull. And the deadlift is most certainly a back exercise and more specifically for the low back, but sometimes lost in the shuffle is the importance of the lats and their role in this exercise. Today I'm gonna to go over five cues that you can use to more effectively use your lats pack them when you deadlift for a much more vertical bar path. A correct deadlift will have certain visible characteristics. The bar will be placed just below the scapula or the shoulder blades. The shoulders will be just out in front of the barbell, the back held in rigid extension. Now the reason the shoulders are a little bit in front of the bar because it's at this position that the lats attach the humerus at 90 degrees and are thus best positioned to produce force against the humerus to pull the bar back and keep it on the legs throughout the pull. So in a correct deadlift, when I set up shins to bar, you're gonna notice that my shoulders are slightly out in front of the bar, my arms are angled back. Now the reason for this is that this is the best angle for the lats, for their attachment on the humerus to apply force to pull that barbell back. If I let the arms go, they're gonna to wanna to hang plumb or straight up and down. Now obviously for, in the deadlift, we're not gonna be able to pull the bar if it's way out here in front of me, it's certainly the heavier weights. So in this position here, I have to think about getting the lats tight to get them pulled back throughout the pull so that barbell stays glued to my shins. Here's five different ways you can think about this. So the first and simplest cue I'm thinking about right now is just to simply push the arms or pull the arms back on both sides. They're against the shins, pull the arms and the barbell back. Lats are engaged and we pull. Another helpful cue can be illustrated by using a PVC pipe or a broomstick to really reinforce what we're talking about. So today I'll use a PVC pipe and I'm gonna think about bending the bar around my legs or breaking it around my legs. This is what it looks like. So as you can see here in a pulling position with the PVC pipe, what I'm trying to think about is as I grip it, I'm trying to think about breaking it or bending it around my legs. Big breath, squeeze your chest up and try to bend that bar in half around the legs. You can see it bend. The bar obviously won't bend, but what that will do is pack your lat tight, keep them engaged, and keep the bar pinned on your shins as you pull. A third cue we can use is actually not a bar cue, but actually a body cue. What I'm thinking about now is thinking about getting my armpits tight. Squeeze my armpits tight together, which has the same effect as the first two. Squeeze my armpits tight, lats are engaged, chest is up, bar stays gripped. A fourth cue we can use for the lats, and again a body cue, is thinking about turning my elbows or pointing them to the wall behind me. If I'm gripping the barbell in a deadlift and I'm about to pull, you'll notice my elbows are kind of pointed back at a 45 degree angle to whatever's behind me. If I can think about turning those back to the wall behind me, it has the same effect as tightening the armpits or bending the barbell and it's going to pack the lats. So again, for this body cue, I'm thinking about Elbows are pointed back at kind of a 45. If I can think about turning them back to the wall behind me, the effect is the same. Turn the elbows back, pack the lats, chest up for a cleaner pull. The last cue we'll talk about today is thinking about putting your shoulder blades or scapula in your back pocket, packing them behind you in your back pocket. I'll show you what that looks like. So as I mentioned before, if we can think about putting the shoulder blades, the scapula into your back pocket, We'll squeeze the chest up, put the shoulder blades into the back pocket, really pack them back. The bar will stay stuck on the shins for a much cleaner deadlift. We hope this helps. The deadlift can be a brutally difficult exercise and we don't want to make it worse with an inefficient bar path. Get those lats engaged and clean up your pull.